Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameamanda.com. I had a user um, who posted a question regarding uh, his system would freeze after playing games for a few hours. It would just blue screen. And that's fairly common. Now, make sure, of course, that you have um, nothing crazy going on with your operating system. In other words, you don't have any kind of trojans or viruses or weird things like that going on that's uh, taking up the CPU um, completely and 100% and maxing it out and the system's just overheating because you know you're playing games you're doing other things and then there's this uh, thing going on in the background so check that out first um, and if you're not sure about that well you really want to uh, buy some kind of internet security program and scan your system and make sure that that's not there that's one of the first things you want to do um, the next couple of things that you want to look for is uh, for example cooling um, look inside the case make sure you have adequate cooling in all the different parts um, of the um, system, the motherboard, you know, the, um, the, the CPU, uh, the video card, and uh, the case as well should, of course, have adequate fans, and especially if you're in a hot environment. Um, the second thing uh, really is, is a power supply. Make sure you have enough juice to power your system, and there could be a motherboard-related issue. But in most cases, when this happens, um, it's usually related to a cooling or a memory issue. And how you would test your memory, I'm speaking of DDR2 and DDR3 memory, is remove every module except for one, leave that one in the board, then go ahead and just do your everyday things, play your games, and so on and so forth. If your system doesn't freeze, you know it's not that particular memory module. Then take that one out, put another, a different one, a single module in, then go ahead and play your games, do your things, and hopefully you'll find one that's defective because um, otherwise you're going to be really scratching your head figuring out what is going on. <laughs> but in most cases, I found um, system issues like glitches and weird freezing and, and rebooting is almost always attributed to either defective memory or uh, possibly it could be related to overclocking. Now, if you're overclocking, you know very well that it could be many, many things that is, uh, you know, you're pushing the limits on either your, your memory, your video card, or, or whatnot. So I'm not quite sure if you're overclocking. But if you are overclocking, then you really want to look at all your settings. I hope this helps. Keep your questions coming.